Hey girls! Normally I don't like doing intros, but I felt like this video was kind of all over the place, so I just wanted to kind of explain what's going on. Number one, I have been trying to convince my mom to give me like a mullety type hair cut for a while, and she finally agreed. That is what we did. That's why I'm covering my hair. Sorry to be a dramatic ass bitch. I just don't want you guys to see it like quite this second because I want to like explain more about it. With that being said, you guys will see I don't have like a full on mullet. Like I don't got shaved sides. You can like barely even call it a mullet. It's more of like a shag, but it's more of like a shag. I just don't want people to come for me and be like, that's not even a mullet because I know. Some people have asked me like the type of products that I use to get my platinum, so I figured I might as well include that in this video since I did my roots. Um, I'm also just going to show you guys how I take care of my platinum in general. Last, I'm just going to show you guys how I style it. I mean, I just barely got this haircut, so I'm still not perfect at even styling it, but I showed you guys how I styled my bangs, how I styled my perm. Cut to the clip of me and mom. Schmeeze, we trimmed. Like a half inch off the ends. But... I mean, yeah, but I want the other cut too. Homie, don't have time for that. Yes, you do. That's the whole point. I need a good thumbnail, like my perm thumbnail. That wasn't even like that good, but people watched it. I wonder if that's my most popular or if it's the school one. Oh, it is my perm one. You're right. I wanted to talk about my inspiration for this haircut. My first one was Camille Jansen. I love her hair. I just think it's so cool. I love her bangs. I love the way she styles it. I love how it looks so effortless, but also done. And then these random three photos were my other inspirations. I feel like Asian women and like Korean women always have like the coolest hair ever. So yeah, that was also my inspo. So the first step to this hair transformation was obviously just doing my roots. I don't really know what to say about this um, because I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory, but this probably takes around like an hour to an hour and a half, maybe two hours with it sitting on my head. Um, but here are the products that I use. This is the bleach I use. How much of that do we use when we do my roots? Like three scoops. And then we use a little bit of the... And then three ounces of the 20 volume peroxide. And then we use this too, which helps a lot, right? Just like with like keeping oh, yeah. it healthy. Yeah. You don't have to use that much of this. That's why like barely yeah, any of it is gone, yeah. but this helps a lot. I feel like a lot of people say that when you bleach your scalp, it like hurts and it burns. I don't know, maybe I just made that up. I feel like people just say that, but for me, it doesn't necessarily hurt. Um, it just gets really itchy, like especially once it's all on and like processing, it gets really itchy, but it doesn't necessarily burn. I don't know, maybe I'm just built different, but yeah. Okay, just do Avery's it. Turn just do it, mom. Mom, are you no. serious right now? Yes. I'm Why? Why? Because I already lost. Why so? would I lose twice? Just in do a it row? for fun. I don't want to. <laughs> You're first of all, Avery. Look at how comes down behind me and look I'm at how. Okay, but it, he just straightened. <laughs> he, he started. Okay. He's like, okay. Whatever, you guys are so three. dramatic. Wait a minute. Go. Oh, she's gonna win. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Does that not hurt your elbow? It kind of does. <laughs> I have never had chocolate milk before, so I thought I would buy some and try it while I'm waiting. What are you doing? Italian's gonna be thumbs down. You think so? Do you want to try some? No, I'm a tab. I don't want to just drink a glass of almond milk. Well, I'm just having a little seems bit. It's a little odd. It just seems Let me strange. Smell. Let me smell. Yeah. It just tastes like dark chocolate. Let me drink. Let me. Yeah, have a drink for the video. Hey guys, my name's Tavin. I'm gonna try this chocolate milk. Do you guys think we look alike? Just drink it, bruh. Bruh. It just I... tastes like chocolate syrup, which I don't like. Wait, come back. I don't like it. Do you guys think we look alike? You have to like move your hair out of your face. It, you can't have it over your eyes. Yeah, move, that's like. Like hold the hair back, like what? I'm not gonna look like I'm 80. You don't 80? look like you're 80, you don't have a big forehead. Ew, <laughs> don't make that face. <laughs> I feel like we have the same nose. No, no let me see. Mine has like a bump right here. Yeah, mine does too, a little bit. Um, do you guys wanna say hi to my video? Say hi. Hi, hi YouTube. <laughs> I'm cutting my hair. A lot of people have been asking. This is the toner I use. Okay, I'm busy. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, puppy. Okay. Can't you only get this at like salons? No, at a beauty supply. Yeah, but, you can only get these only at. If you're professional. Yeah. But you can tell your hairdresser. Yes. Because it's a good one. It is a good one. It makes my hair icy. So we use a five volume peroxide with the toner. Here we go. Here I go again. What's my weakness, man? Okay then. Brillin', chillin', mindin' my business. Ooh, Oof. this looks good. 
So yes, now we start the toning process. So I originally asked my mom, or not originally, I just mean like for this time, if we could try a different toner to make it more like silver. I was really inspired by Billie Eilish's like old hair from when she first started blowing up, like that really pretty silver that like was still light. Um, and that's actually what this toner is like supposed to do. It just kind of made my hair more white instead of silver. But I think the more times you tone your hair, the more it's going to be like that pretty much. When I first went platinum, my hair was like a little bit more on the yellow warm side, which I still really did like. Um, but yeah, just as you keep doing it and you keep toning it, it is going to get more of like that silver color. So um, yeah, this is like the most silver my hair has probably ever been. But yeah, I really like this toner. Um, I get a lot of people asking me which one it is. So yes, it's the Paul Mitchell UTP, I believe. It's really, really good. So yeah, I left this in my hair for, I don't know, I don't even know, maybe like 30-ish minutes. So then after leaving it in, I just went and showered because it was just more easy. Um, I used Olaplex number two, I believe, after I shampooed because that's what you are supposed to do with it. So yeah, I used Olaplex number two and then we started cutting my hair. My, did my, um, okay. you know Napoleon Dynamite? Napoleon, yeah. My um, choir teacher was married to his brother. Okay, Jens, can you be clean up crew? pretty much any purple shampoo I believe is that they can suck at lathering. I don't know what it is. Sometimes this one will like lather just fine and sometimes it just like straight up won't. Um, I just feel like the quicker you try to start to make it more bubbly like the better it will work. But I have found out that the key to keeping your color and have it not yellow is to keep your purple shampoo in for like 10 minutes. I I don't know if that's I don't know if that's like just common sense to do that, but when I first had my hair platinum, I was not doing that, and I noticed that it was getting yellow really quick, and I was like, what the hell? What, like I'm using purple shampoo, why is my hair not keeping its color? And my mom was like, well, are you letting it sit in for like 10 minutes? And I was like, no. So what I usually do, damn it, I don't have one in here with me, but I usually will shampoo my hair like so, then I will put it in like a clip and just clip it up for like. Anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. During that time, I'll like shave my legs. Not because I want to, but because I have time to kill. Yeah, I'll just like let this sit in my hair for a while. Since y'all keep getting foggy, I'm just gonna show you that I also use this. Um, I use this also for conditioner sometimes. Um, I don't use it every time. I only wash my hair like minimum three times a week. Oh wait max three times a week. I try and do like one to two, but I just add a little bit of this to my purple um, conditioner. That's pretty much it. I leave it in for like maybe five minutes and then I rinse it out and that's what I use to wash my hair. I'm sad because I was listening to Ariana's new album during this and I just wish I could like leave the audio in so you guys could jam with me. But um, here is how I start to style it. So the first thing I usually use is a mousse. I put way too much in my hair, um, especially towards the front. My bangs were like pretty stiff at the beginning and a little bit hard to brush through. So now I know for next time not to do that much, but I kind of just start by just blowing my hair dry. I usually like to let it air dry just because I like the more natural look. But when it comes to my bangs, I pretty much have to, I don't have to blow them dry, but they just look better when they're blown dry. So I just kind of use this um, little round brush. I feel like it's a little bit too small. I have a bigger one that I think I'm gonna start using, but I just kind of brush it and use the round brush in like every single direction. I do it like up and back, I do it down, I do it towards the sides. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I start. And then I just blow dry, and then I just blow dry, oh my God. And then I blow dried the rest of my hair. Here's when I break out my straightener or my flat iron. I usually never use a curling iron to really curl my hair anymore. Um, I just kind of mess around with my flat iron and like curl some of my bangs out. I curl some of the top pieces out. I flip some of my ends. I don't know. I just kind of like mess around. I really don't have like a solid technique of like, yes, here's what I do. Like I really just every time I'm like, 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna get my flat iron and curl a few pieces and mess around until it looks good, so. Also, I feel like as I style it more and more in this video, it looks like less like a shag and more of just like I got bangs. Um, but when my mom first styled it for me the night that I cut it, it looked so much more like a shag, so I need to kind of figure out like what she did. 